That is odd. Where could it have possibly gone? I guess it did. All right. So here's how we do it. Liquefiable, boom. There we go. So brown ice, ice, a lot of ice down here. Wow, okay. It happens. It happens. We got another oil well over there. I, like I said, I'm just worried about the uh, the water situation. We do have some geysers. I definitely need to be on the lookout for more geysers. We need to make a lot of use of them. Is there another salt one over here? No? We got oil up here, though. So that's pretty good. It's also starting to melt. Oh, solid carbon dioxide. Holy crap. That's... <laughs> that's cold. That's gonna be cold. Alright, there's seawater up here, but I don't see any of the neutronium. We have one right here, right? What is this? This is uh, some kind of... What is this vent? Cool salt slush geyser. Periodically erupts in freezing brine. What is freezing brine? Brine. Oh, so it's even more... Oh, so it's high... Okay, okay. I mean, I know what it is in real life, and that's exactly what it is, is it's essentially... Highly salt... Highly salted water. Extremely, extremely. My main water source? How, though? How do you use it as your main water source? Does it just... It produces brine, so... Do you use desalinators? Okie dokie. What's really weird is this is right where the space thing is, so it's like, damn, it's like right there in my way, but I guess space doesn't start to up here, so I can create some weird infrastructure where it's not really gonna matter, right? To be fair, if I never run power up here, these these never actually get air in them, so it won't waste it. So that should be, we might we might be able to move it like back this way and up a little bit, something like that. We need to. So it produces. What did what did it say it produces? Let's see, let me do this one more time because Tango has bad memory. Could you could you not game? Um, so it produces 4,000 gallons per second, or grams per second, of brine at negative 10 C. Once it goes through a desalinator, does the, does the water come out at a decent enough temperature for it not to like explode your pipes? So negative 10, negative 10. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of coal up there. There's one right there. Wow, yeah, you could just you could just see them. Oh yeah, what's this one? What's this one? I forgot about this one. Another coal slush geyser. Same thing. So I got two fairly close to one another. And where is this? Oh, it's directly. Okay. All right. Um, 
You don't preheat it. Got it. Let me guess. Tepidizer is the way to go. What? Okay, I was like very confused there. Alright, we're setting this up for future because I'm basically just gonna create a pool here. Alright, and there was one over here as well. I'm I'm assuming this one might just be a salt one, right? Cool steam vent. Oh, nice. A cool steam vent. Hell yeah. God, God dang it. I hate that it does that. And then we do this. Excellent. Okay. So yeah, 110 C. You just run the brine through your power room, but yeah. They just run the brine through your power room. And I can see that. I can definitely see that. Be 40C in there. Yeah. Okay, so we got one there. Yeah, we got that one. Holy shit, it's just... <laughs> I didn't even see it. Wow, it's just chilling there. Another cool steam vent. Okay, so it looks like our water problem is not really going to be that much of a problem so long as I stay on it. Yeah, as long as I stay on it, it looks like we're going to be pretty good. And then we come in here and we grab some ladders. Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that'll do. And then... Then we could just put an airlock here. Put it at four. So they just so they just to make sure they don't freaking put it up anytime soon. You know what? We'll drop it down to one just to, just to make sure. <clears throat> just so the plan is there. It's only an issue if you let it be an issue. The most common and easiest resource to get infinite of. Yeah, yeah. You should, I'm just, I just have to set it up to do so. And look at that polluted water right there. Polluted ice. Um, that is gonna be. Oh, that's ice right there as well. Hmm. Excuse me. I'm trying to think. If I if I don't do it like this, right, and I do it more like that, right, we can. Kinda. And then we can put like the pump like right here. In here, yeah. Because if we dig this out, we're gonna have to. The problem is, is we're gonna have to deal with polluted oxygen because of all this fucking algae and shit, right? Actually, I don't. If I'm gonna go over there, I don't need to dig any of this out. 
I could just, I could just dig out the ice. Right? Yeah, yeah, cause it'll it'll just come over here and condense. Yeah, cause it's a negative eighteen C. Yeah, it'll just come over here and condense, and all I have to do is direct it, right? You can dig any of it if you want. That's a good point. Yeah, it's the slime that does. It's the slime that does. But... Just don't dig into the slime, yeah. So that's slime, that's slime, there's gold, gold. So yeah, I'm just gonna dig into... I'm not even actually gonna dig into the ice, I don't think. Yeah, we're just gonna kinda... We're just gonna kinda do it like this. Uh, we need to put a ladder here, though. For shits and giggles, I guess. And I guess I should do... I don't want this stuff coming to my base. That's the big thing. So I guess we can come like this. We'll put an airlock in here at some point before I dig that out. So. But I have a feeling that we're basically just going to be... Just going to be doing one of these. Yeah, just plopping that in there. Oh, it's it's because of all the plants. That's hilarious. I'm gonna uproot you, uproot you. And we're basically gonna put. Hang on, boys. I gotta take a break. Be right back. Gotta go be super dad.
My only hope was to snipe and kill the sectoid. He could easily run over here and kill Joker. All right, Joker's got 14 mobility. Yeah, look at that. He's got 15. Okay, here we go. Don't kill him. <laughs> oh, that is freaking juicy, baby. That's juicy. Did he just... No, he's bleeding out. Okay. Do you even care about me? I foresee the anguish of that, That's commander. actually quite bad. Ready. That is... That is even worse. That is even worse. Uh oh, uh oh, that's a ro that's gonna be a rocket. That's definitely gonna be a rocket. Spit. Exterior plate holding. Right, uh, boys, we are back. Yes, indeed. Okay, are we good? Yes, we are. Excellent, excellent. All right, all right. <laughs> My daughter is amazing. Okay, so we only got three Arbor Trees. Yeah, we only got three of them, so. Three Arbor Tree Acorns, excuse me. I mean, we'll eventually get more from our own farming plus these guys. I really want to make a big thing for these. So, should I even go so far as to tr even even... Like, I'm, I'm curious if I should even use wood burners at all. You know what I mean? I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to turn all this carbon dioxide into polluted water so that I can just turn it back into water so we can get rid of this carbon dioxide. I don't think you can use it for anything, can you? Because, like, technically you could repurpose carbon dioxide to turn it into, like, plastic. Um, or... Technically, you can turn carbon dioxide into freaking petrol, but uh, that's a long and excruciating process. So I don't know if that would even be a good idea or not. But we're gonna we're gonna go dig and we're gonna go boom, boom, and so it should just drop straight down, minus the heavy watt plates, of course. Which should save me on a little bit of electricity with the, with the pump. Did we ever get this done? We did not. Okay, so the automated wire. Let's do... So there's 500... Did you say there's 500 seconds in a day? Six. So... Let's do... Let's start off easy and go 300, 300. Okay, there we go. Mm, only thing you can you could do is slicksters, which could very well be worth it. I mean, I do have slicksters. Yeah, absolutely, I have them. They're great. <laughs> And it, apparently, I'm just getting oil all over the place. Luckily, I've got a little thing here, so that's that's pretty good. So we gotta we gotta get the sweep. The, the reason it's it's full like this is because the sweepy bot's not been doing anything. So let's put this on emergency. Hopefully, somebody comes in here and gives me gives me the stuff. I love my little pump in here. It's so cool because it's a uh, because it's a uh, it catches the it, it, I'm I'm trying to catch the carbon dioxide and it's working. It works pretty well to make it make it a vacuum. Cosman, Cosman, all right, we're just gonna be done with that. Why not just put a liquid? Why not just put a liquid pump in there instead? Um. Instead of the sweepy, would it even work in a room like this? Like, it's not even that thick. That's what I'm getting at, right? 
And not only that, the sweepy was the reason I wanted the sweepy to to do that was because if sweepy does it, yeah, if sweepy does it, then it's not all over the floor, so they don't have to walk through it, right? Wait, they don't get sopping wet from oil? Wait, for real? Wait, for real? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. He just walked through this, like, oil stuff, and if this had been water, he would have gotten um, sopping wet and... Or do they only get sopping wet when they're submerged? I can't remember. But the point is, is that he would have gotten, like, a debuff, right? Frost resistance gives immunity to all wet buffs. Does walking through oil give you frost resistance? I mean, look at him. He's going at it. I I guess you're right. The, the thing about the sweepy dock... No, the heaters give the frost resistance. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Let's uh, go in here. What's on yellow alert? Oh, this guy. Okay, it's five or seven. All right, I want you to go in here. Soggy feet. That's it. That's the one I was looking for. Stress. Okay. Can we mop this? We can't. Okay, so... We need to... We need to do something really dumb. Really, 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 like, right now. So... Let's make it happen. We're gonna de deconstruct this as well. So yeah, he's actually taking quite a while to do that. The mopping, because it's so much. Are we just, are we, is nobody gonna do this? Anybody? Anybody? Why are they, why, why is no one, what the fuck is going on? Why is no one taking care of this? I'm confused. Because I didn't click deconstruct, that's why. I swear to God I did. Upon all that is holy, my friends, I swear. I swear, I did the thing. Oh my god, you're taking forever. Okay, priority. Bang, bang. Dude, he is, like, not able to keep up. Now, here's an interesting thing. So... Because of how little oil it is, do you think maybe I should use use one of the smaller pumps? Use the smaller pump, I guess I should say. Would it not be worth it? So I don't know. I don't even know how it should be oriented, to be quite honest. I'm assuming it sucks from the bottom, but you'd want it like that. Hmm. I mean, he's definitely, uh, he's definitely sweeping it up. I love how it chooses like the people with the shittiest construction to do this job. 
You just gotta love it. You just gotta love that, man. Never fails, dude. Never fails. All the way across the map, shittiest construction imaginable. So they take hours to construct a thing. Okay, so I guess I'll just put this at nine instead of emergency so that somebody competent actually comes along and does it. <laughs> ah! oh! Love it. Love it. Get some, son. So, they're doing... Oh, it's because it's digging. That's why. So, 15. Okay. So, I need to let things run is what you're kind of... What you're trying to say. What does the back pressure thing mean? Is that a bad thing? Increases with each use. It must be periodically relieved to prevent shutdown. Oh, and they can't reach it. Oh, okay. So let's... We need to deconstruct that one. So they can, that way they can reach the machine, right? Because it says unreachable. Wait, no, it doesn't. Yeah, look, unreachable, unreachable. Okay. Natural gas, yeah, there it is. Two hundred and one C. Uh, so when you when you relieve it, it just sprays it into the into the air. I'm assuming. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna hook this one back up for a minute. Probably should have put it here, but you know, whatever. You know, whatever. Yeah, I probably should have, or at least on this side. <laughs> it just feels like it's like in the worst possible position. Excellent, okay. They're starting to fill that in. We got that. We're doing that over there. We got the door done. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And Sweepy is doing his damnedest. Yeah, look, see. How much does this thing cost? 240 watts. So a regular pump, 240 watts. The small pump is 60 watts. Would a pump be better? I don't know. Well, I know what would be better is for me to have this in a place where I could put a pit under it. That would be like the best. But the problem is, is this place is so fucking cold. I, I don't want to do that. So in the middle of my base was the was basically the best option that I could come up with. So I could expand it six more tiles. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And once we get those built, we'll, uh, we'll see what we do. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. That'll give me more room so I can have more of them. Are these things hooked up? They are. So, we'll grab a larva egg. I guess I should put one of these down in here. Freaking melting ice. Come on, bro. 
Come on, bro. Um... Is this the ice one? This is the ice one. Nope. That the ice one? Nope. Which one's the ice one? The wrong place, dummy. Ice snow. So we're gonna go sweep only nine. Okay. That should get all of those. Hopefully. And so there's two larva eggs. No long hairs. No puffs. Actually, the, I think the only reason I want puffs is so I can get the one that makes bleach stone out of chlorine. Pretty sure that's it. So these need fertilization. Well, we've definitely got the phosphorus up here. To be fair, I did turn off the uh, the thing here, so it does take a while, a lot longer to get there. But I was definitely afraid of running out of power, man. Like, it's about, I, I feel like it's about to get real bad. Real bad, yeah. You know, the oil's getting low. This is not allowed by schedule and unreachable, right? Yeah, okay. So we need to, we definitely need to get that done. So even with all the oil spilling down here, it's not submerging this. Food has decayed. Oh, did my oxygen thing get put on? Yes. So, yeah, that's that's kind of what I want. This is basically on all the fucking time. Oh, and look. How oh, very nice. So, I guess we could pop those as well. Maybe that one. Right. That way it's not dropping onto the tile. It's dropping on either side of it. I have a freaking entire gas reservoir full of freaking carbon dioxide. What I really need is I need another freaking uh, natural gas geyser. So. Yeah, those are both the freaking super volcano shits. Right. Cool steam vent. It is kind of cheaty that you can use this to uh, discover them. That is kind of, that is kind of, kind of mad, isn't it? And so we've got another one. So there is a... This one is a cool steam vent as well. Cool steam vent. There's more oil over here, which is kind of weird. That it's in the, you know, top. Let it run. There's a freaking volcano. Erupts with magma. Vacuum. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. Okay, and we got more liquid fireballs. Look at that crude oil over there. No. 
And yeah, I think it might behoove us. Can't we just Is this is this is this Oh my god. Is this what I think it is? Yep. So, I'm just going to deconstruct this. Automation wire bridge. So, All but the top center needs to be on. Yep. It's all good. Um, I'm just going to deconstruct the door, but I, I kind of want to see if I can figure it out. Uh, let's see. So it's this one right here. So this is a not gate. I didn't realize that I was going to be digging that. Uh, well, that's cool, though. Hang on a second. Don't tell. So this is a... This is a... So it's a not gate. So what that means is that if it's green, it turns red. And if it's red, it's green. But it's also hooked to the center one. So... Don't they both need to be sending a red signal? Green signal, green signal, green signal. This is given a green. This one is red. Oh, wait. I miss... Oh, it's this one, too. Boom! Got it. I, too, can understand freaking stupid input gates. Um, inspect. View entry. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. I literally... I literally had to cover the chat because I was like, no, 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 no. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Yeah, that was great. So I just I just missed the connection. So there's three of them that are connected to that damn thing. Um, I guess we'll go rummage through that. And we found our cool steam visor. Yes, indeed. We need we need bleach stone to make these things like pump out more stuff. What do you need for the saltwater ones? Is it bleach stone as well? Did this one go dormant? Dormant. So these. That one's about to go dormant too. In 7.8 cycles. So we're gonna be out of natural gas. Or that's a lot. This one's going dormant, and this one's got. Where's the other one? This one. Twenty-two cycles. I don't know if I can make it for twenty-two cycles. Off of what I got, I don't think I can. So 
so yeah. Um, we're almost done with that. Get these done. Yeah, I'm, uh, like I said, I'm really worried about the power situation, but we are, I'm, I'm going to try to, I think I'm going to try to get this uh, up and running as well. So, and we're going to get some, we're going to get wood going as well. So I, one of the, one of the things, let me see, how much, how much wood does a tree produce? Does it, does it actually tell you? So 4.5, hang on a second. The branches grow independently. 4.5 as well. 300 kilograms, 300 kilograms of wood, 300 kilograms of wood goes into, so three of those, so let's say we do the fertilizer, so it takes two days, two and some change, so it takes three branches, four branches, three and some change, right, two, or 3.33333, um, three branches fully grown to feed this thing to pump out 500 G's of ethanol. 300 G's of polluted dirt and 166 G's of carbon dioxide. Burnable ethanol fuel. And ethanol is used in the natural gas generator, right? It doesn't say you can use ethanol. And it takes 90 a second to make petroleum generator. Oh, you use petroleum generator? Oh, thank you. I was like, it's got to... Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Or ethanol. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, baby. Appreciate you. Look at that. Yes. Yes. It's working. It's working. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I am a bit worried that I'm not going to be that that one of the reasons this is draining the way it is, right? Is because I'm sending polluted water up here at 10, well, it's not 10 kg a second, but it's whatever it is, right? Because it splits from the main line, right? And so this is 8.7 kilograms of polluted water, right? To cool the plants. And then I drop 8.7 kilograms of water in here every second. And then each one of these is producing 65, 67 grams. So... That's uh, 100, that's 100, 200, you know, almost, you know, somewhere around 300 grams a second. And so I'm having eight point, actually it might be enough for a 10 kilogram. Let me see. So what is it? 67 times five? Doing the math, baby. Doing the math. So 67.5 times... 337 grams. So. And then we add plus, was it 8.7? So kilograms, so that's 8,700. That's 9,037. So there should be more than enough pumping capability of this damn thing so that it should actually be able to outdo both of them. Now, is there any other polluted water source that I'm getting here? 
Insufficient gas. What the fuck? Oh, why is it not? There we go. And then we need to disconnect here. So the outflow flows into the inflow. The outflow flows into these guys. Yep, there it is, man. So, I mean, we've got several tanks full, right? So it's not the end of the world here. We got seven more cycles, so it'll buttress a little bit. So yeah, this sh this thing should be able to, considering how much it's actually getting, right? Because it's only getting 8.7, 8.7, there's six. That was a 10 slug, 10 slug. Okay, sometimes it's a 10 slug. Why is sometimes it's, oh, wait, I, oh, 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 so as you notice, some of them are paced, some of them are less, and some of them are 10 slugs, and I think it's because of how awkwardly it recombines here, you see that? Yeah, I think that's what that is, so. It's not a full 10, 10 kilograms a second, and so we should barely be able to pump this out faster than it can, than it can fill up. We should be able to. Still unreachable? How is it unreachable? All right, we we gotta we gotta we gotta take all of this off. There's there's yeah there's. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we need to get that off like ASAP. Are you still not submerged in liquid? I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. So this thing takes 10 kg a second. How much does this produce? So three, three kilograms. A So you could potentially have three oil wells running at once and this would still outproduce them. Yeah, I think we're gonna do it. The problem is, is that the if I go ahead and build them now, they'll freaking tune them up and waste waste stuff on them. I don't want to do that. Oh, by the way, what's the uptime on these now? 35, 25. I honestly think the reason my power started to fluctuate like it did is because I stopped. Oh, that's funny. It can't reach that one. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, well, that's fine. I don't. I, it's okay. It's not even on the automation thing. I don't think. Yeah, it's not. Is it tuned up? It is not. I mean, it should be okay. Yeah, I don't really feel like uh, adding another one of those, especially not right now. All right, where are you trapped at? Stinky, stinky, stinky. You're a dumbass, Stinky. Absolute moron. That's why I like it. Rin too. Rin and Stinky. What a what a combination. What a combo. What a combo. All right, how's the temperature on this? Negative, okay, that's great. That's that's really good. Really good. Oh, it's finally in a liquid, yay! So let's look at the oxygenation of our base. Yeah, look, it's we're fully good to go. Yeah, breathable. This is why this is why I turned it off. 
Is my conveyor not running? Ah. Ah, I see. I see. So, as always, gotta put it at nine. Can't have it any different, right? These are at nine. Are they unreachable? Are they unreachable? Is that what's going on? Like, I can I can get these, I guess, from up there. What it <laughs> It always seems really sus when that happens. Yeah, look, man. It's a lot, but it works. To be fair, the pump would be automated and I wouldn't have to come in here and get it and then go dump it, right? So, there is that. But would a pump would a would a pump be enough for this, right? Cuz I can't even I can't even lower it down one, right? That's that's half the issue. Cuz if I do, it's just going to be like all over the floor down here. Or I won't have a walkway, right? Yeah, that should do it. We good? We're good. How we doing over here? All right, so critters. So we're just gonna click. I was just gonna do everything. All right, say just in case they're walking back here. Slickster, Slickster Lava. I don't care about the stone guys. I'm never I'm probably not gonna not gonna mess with those. Pips. Cuddle pips. Open. Okay. Yep. Excellent. We got all the ice out. Lovely. It all melted. Vundaba. Vundaba. We almost got the new hospital built, so that's good. So hopefully this insufficient oxygen generation bullshit will go away. Because the thing about it is, I think I think I'm actually producing too much oxygen. It feels like because a lot of my base is like at max pressure, and so I'm I'm having trouble getting rid of some of the O2 that I'm producing because I'm not because I'm not using the. I'm having to use these bad boys to get it out. And we're awaiting rust, which would be really great if I could uh, get this running. Snazzy suit. I'm just gonna I mean, we should take it. We should take it. Didn't I make a bunch of clothes? I had a textile loom somewhere. There it is. Oh, and nobody cares. Well, shit. Okay. I think we're just going to let it go. That my colony is in the game still tells me. That, yeah, well, it's, it's based on how much you produced last turn, right? So that's why it should go down. Over time. Nom, 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 nom. It's cycle 1200. <laughs> okay, I mean, you got me on that one. So, fair enough. Okay, now it's morning time. Why are we... Why are we not doing this? It just says it doesn't say anything on the on the errands. It's like... Oh, it, it's because I can't reach it. That's why. I 
I gotta go here. So they can hop across. Yeah, there we go. That's it. That's it. We needed this one, but done. <laughs> and then my dupes is consuming 600. Fair enough. Fair enough. Dude, you can have so many pips, man. Now they're cramped. Now they're cramped. So you can have like what, 17 in there, 13 in this? There's 20 critters in here. Um, I think they're four tiles a pop. Is it four tiles for these bad boys? Four. So in this room of 76 tiles, I have 20. Uh, do, 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 do. Nineteen. You can have nineteen animals in this room. It says it right there. Population. Das population. There it is, 96 tiles, excellent. And so these guys are 12, right? Slicksters. Oh, 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 sorry. My bad, my bad. Yeah, 12, so. <laughs> yeah, eight. Okay. And how many do I have? Seven. So, yeah, it's about to get cramped. So, we should actually deconstruct this. Or, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. So, which one is the furthest along? 85, 81, 34. So, we should remove... Um, do, 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 do. And this one is 85. I mean, I guess we could kill it for meat, but I'd rather have it for eggs, so I guess we'll do that instead. All right, so. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Ah. So, so we'll do eight. Well, here's here's the thing. If they, so for the incubators, if I were to, with the incubators having a higher order. They'll go to the incubators first, and then all the extras go to the go to the egg cracker. But what if this is full? Will it still try to incubate them if I have it set on this? I'm curious about that. Only two oxygen generators? Yeah, I know, right? So, let's do... I keep forgetting to click the fucking button. And we'll do another hatchling. And is there any...